Today I'm going to be looking at making a microphone flag uh, for a typical handheld microphone shank. Uh, you may wonder why why do you want a microphone flag? Well, aside from branding, um, you know when you put the microphone down, it doesn't always stay where you put it, except it seems when you put it over there. I don't know. So. With a flag on it would stay put. Um, okay, so step one, uh, you know, you can look on YouTube and there's lots of DIY how to make a flag out of perspex and you know, plastic, whatever. Um, I'm quite lazy. Um, so I just went to Amazon for my DIY and for about the same cost you can get one that's pre-made you know the, the flag is pre-made by a company that knows what it's doing with microphones now what I don't know is whether this will actually fit the shank of this or this iRig microphone and it probably will you know I'm confident I thought I send it back if it doesn't right? so the first step Amazon, you can, I'm sure you can buy it from eBay as well. See, that's all it is. And we just put the flag on the mic, like so. Try not to break bits off as we do it, obviously. And then your microphone rolling problem goes away. And when you hand hold it, you have a good area for branding. And talking of branding, I have also been to Vistaprint um, to do my filmmaker branding. So th these are quite cheap stickers. Um, I measured them out. You know, they, they should fit on the flag. Again, you know, you could. Do all sorts of things to um, create your flag. But I I just like to uh, do things as easily as possible, but but also you know without spending a fortune necessarily. So uh, actually, I can see it hasn't printed that well, has it? I didn't either. I didn't proof that particularly well, or Vista printer a bit, you know. And there you go. So already, you know, it looks a bit more, uh, a bit more branded. Uh, I could read somewhere the lid comes because it looks like it could or should go a bit further up. So let's see, oh, I've sort of put it on the wrong way as well, which is typical of me. So I don't know how this lid comes off. Let me just pull off the instructions. No. There we go, so the lid comes off. Uh, does that allow me to um, go up further? And uh, then you realise I've put it all up to upside down. Good stuff. Um, but nonetheless, um, you know, TV interview just looks a lot better, doesn't it, with a, a microphone flag. So let's put this one on the right way up. We'll do a bit of a uh, rebellious... Uh, angle on, on the uh, logo there so there you go that's my guide on how to make yourself a decent microphone flag you know didn't cost any more than doing it the hard way so why do it the hard way maybe it's just me